Alrighty, I return. I do have the dogie with me. Who, who, whoops, I'm bumping my, bumping my desk now. Who did come down along with me. And now we should be able to continue with some story shenanigans and wrap up this, uh, this story. So, also, you know how CP is, uh, very, very important. And well, with a lot of boss battles, I'm probably gonna have to be burning through a whole lot of pineapples. Well, I've, uh, I've come prepared. I came back down with actual pineapple. So, uh, <laughs> I don't eat on stream. I don't like it when streamers do that. They just, like, have their camera on and they're just, like, munching. I think that's gross and stuff, but... This is a very story-heavy game, and it has, like, a lot of really long cutscenes. I usually mute my microphone and turn off my camera during cutscenes anyway. So, like, during cutscenes, I'm just gonna be secretly munching pineapple. So... <laughs> now you know. So... Yeah, we were gonna make progress in this dungeon here, so we made it to, like, the halfway point, apparently. But yeah, so future cutscenes, I'll just be secretly munching Who are you looking at, considering it's, uh... I know that it started in the other area, but, you know, ooh, there's a thing of bomb over here. Yeah, let's get this story all wrapped up. Our level is pretty darn good. We're, we should be a bit over level for this area now, so we should probably be a-okay to uh see the story through to the end maybe this, this is the flip side of that we shall see we were walking on just a little while ago we this shall see here but i have to fight you technology existed everything probably turvy and that's all you can think about <laughs> bear in mind the core of rena now sits above us i pray that we won't encounter many stairs along the way my arch enemy stairs astral <laughs> doubt Okay, well, I'm not as overleveled as I hoped, but, oh ah, well, we're still, we're still pretty alrighty, I guess. Oh, wait, can I change targets, please? Thanks. This is the same type of enemy as that one boss that I couldn't take out before that I could probably take out now, but eh. One thing you notice in this area, astral energy literally flows when you take steps on the floor. I'm gonna try playing closer attention to that as we keep on going in that case. Also, yeah. When did you even activate overlimit? Also, <laughs> just about to say how much damage this dudo had already done to us, which was a, which was a whole lot and was really quite mean. Um, can I just like, did I stun you with that good? New battle music? I there's too much chaos for me to be properly paying attention to it. Look how much damage I did with that. Whoops, I didn't actually want to plasma shock. No. Yeah, don't do your helicopters. Don't do your freaking rude dude helicopters. Oh, heck yeah! Heck yeah! Now I do this! For big damage, I'm getting very, very jittery! Okay. 96% boosted! Oh my goodness, that is very high amounts of being boosted. I don't want to be 90. Whoa, 6% boosted. That's very high up there, isn't it? Use the 699. And he's doing over limit again. Ow, brood. Is it really the opposite of that though? Like the numbers are reversed like that, but is it truly the opposite? I still haven't seen Law's other Mystic art. Because Kuzma's not quite as boosted as I am. No one can be as boosted as I am. I'm freaking, whoa. You know, I could, we like to use boosted as like a joke term around here. But I could literally be boosted at this game without you guys even knowing, like, actually using the proper terminology of the term. Or the correct usage of the term, sorry. Um, because it's a term for, like, paying off somebody else to make progress in a game for you, so that, uh... So, so when someone seems like they don't have, you know, the skill that matches their hours, it's like, oh, maybe they're boosted. Like, maybe they paid off somebody else to, uh, you know, play for them and do that. As far as you know, I could, uh, I could have literally paid somebody else to do all the off-camera grinding. So, unironically, as far as you know, I could literally be what actually those? boosted at this game they without you knowing. like Shion's thorns, and with flowers, too. Not real ones, though. They're just like that flower growing out of Rena. We must be getting close to the Great Spirit now. Hey, Rinwell, what was that thing you said? about how a little bit of Dana's great spirit is inside all of us. Right. That's why Dana's great spirit is so much more... diluted. Weak, even. Whether it was a choice so it didn't overpower others, or just the way it is, is anyone's guess. If that's true, 
Then wouldn't it mean Dana's will could never form under natural conditions? Yeah, sounds like that's probably the case. So if Dana exists within all of us, then what if something occurred that brought everyone's hearts and minds together as one? That unity could potentially act as Dana's will. You mean if everybody was like, thinking the exact same thing at the exact same time? Come on, there's no way we could pull that off. I know it's a long shot, but it might work. Let's assume that's even possible for a second. Would it even be enough to fight back against Rena's great spirit? If nothing else, it might be an option if we can't use the Rena Salma. Things are different here than on the surface. That shows you know, how deeply we ventured into Rena. Something really interesting about that is, uh, there have actually been studies done into that exact same kind of thing about, you know, a lot of people thinking the same thing at about the same time. Not, a, uh, not as part of, like, a study lab experiment or anything like that, like getting enough people together. But during, like, major world events where, you know, something big has come up that's, like, news around the world, some random number generators kind of stop being so random. And it makes you wonder, like, oh, what's, uh, what's going on with that? So here's a question. We came all this way to Rena on the assumption the Rena's Alma's here, right? Don't. Just don't say it, Law. Yeah, but I'm just saying... I said don't. <laughs> <sighs> I can understand why you might be concerned, Law. But you need to remember that there are people it affects more directly than you. <laughs> oh, sorry. We've managed to make it this far believing. Losing faith now won't do us any good. We're better off focusing our anxiety elsewhere. Such as? The Great Spirit. If Hefrecht 35's to be believed, our enemy won't just be handing over the Renus Alma to us. At least, not without a fight. Not only that, but that same enemy just gulped down more than an entire world's worth of astral energy. Hmm, point taken. It may be strange to say, but when I'm fighting, or at least know what needs to be done, it helps me a lot. I don't doubt myself as much. So thanks, both of you. Looks like there's another thing. <sighs> the floor's on the ceiling and the ceiling's on the floor. This whole thing's making my head spin. Why would they even do something like this? The Helganquil can bend life forms to suit their will. Nothing they could do at this point would surprise me. The ceiling is on the floor. That doesn't weird you out? What good is a team made up of members who all share the same opinions on everything? And besides, when you get to be at my ripe old age, one begins to consider it quite uncouth to show one's true emotions at times. Oh, come on, Grandpa. You can't be that old. The sands of time wait for none of us, lad. Yeah, we'll see. Though at this rate, I guess I'll have to live long enough to get as old as you first, huh? You will. And when the time comes, I look forward to hearing you change your tune on the matter. I know, I know a lot of my opinions have certainly changed over time. That's for certain. Gosh darn it, I'm, I have too much pineapple. I have literally, I have literally too much pineapple that I'm secretly munching during cutscenes. I can't, I can't carry any more pineapple, I have too much. Also, the pineapple's pretty tasty, by the way. Um, but yeah, it is, uh, you know, interesting. It is rather interesting. He's not that old. I feel pretty old at 22 sometimes. What's over here? What is over? No, don't run into me. Uh, I don't really want to fight right now. I just kind of want to see what's in here. Is all I really want to do, but, uh. See here. This this is Fairy Ring, a ring that reduces the CP cost of arts. In long drawn out fights against the wearer, the crucial edge hey. they need to win. But about how much? Um our CP cost minus 20%. So I already have the Oh, well, this is casting time minus 20%, but also CP cost minus 10% and a whole bunch of other things. Wait. Wait, no, what is currently equipped? 
Yeah, custom time minus 5% and RTP cost minus 20%. I'm getting myself mixed up. So, I already have a better version of that. So, useless. <laughs> so, it's quite literally useless to me. Ugh. Just stay away from me. Um, but yeah, there's... There's that. Does that count as boosting? Because again, boosting would be like paying somebody else off to make, like, progress for you. Does making your rate of progress faster count as a paying off to do that? Because that's usually like somebody else comes onto your save file and just does stuff for you, but uh... You know the sound effects from walking around with the astral energy effects going on? Can you now? Oh no. I'm not that interested, sorry. I'm not interested in what you're selling, actually. So, uh, I'm a, I'm a pass here. See you later! <laughs> wow, he watched his spot right on top of me. Amazing! Amazing! It's not like we've seen a bazillion of these things at this point. Oh, man. Can't I just run into them, run, and then get this thing for free? Wait, I probably could have done my strat of, like, running around the room. But this works, too. Like, you just start the battle, and then you run, and then they no longer exist. and take the stuff that they were guarding. Which essentially Be negates the whole point of enemies this guarding anything, but, uh... But yeah, your opinion, let's just let's shame it a pay for official DLC in quotations. Yeah, I like a lot of things about this game. This might be some decent equipment. I hate the DLC. Anything that makes like, uh, easier I will family. not stop saying twenty two ninety nine every time we use Alfen's Augmented Mystic Art. I still can't believe that that Mystic Art is twenty two ninety nine. Well, plus two battles and some costumes, but still, twenty two ninety nine for that. It's like, what the hell? It's like, apart from like freemium games, this is probably the most over monetized I've seen a game. To be fair, gosh dang it, there's an orange. To be fair, I don't play a lot of games that uh, have the potential to be over monetized like this. It's uh, usually not quite my kind of field of... Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Let's just give them a loop-de-loop -loop and pull, then your shoes are looking cool. See you later, girl. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Imagine looking behind you and you see that coming after you. Oh my goodness. Another elevator. Yeah, we can just hit him with a 2299. Most expensive attack ever. Well, probably not. There's probably more expen- Oh, there's a thing. Oh, it's just another- okay, well, just more judos to fight, I guess. Well, this is probably gonna last a while if it's on the elevator, so I'll just switch to this and whatever. Now, I'm stunned. I was falling, and I couldn't get up. Oop. Might not be a bad idea, actually. Sure, we'll do some thingamabobs. Okay, cool. Should I hit him with the 2299? I'm gonna hit him with the 2299. Um, yeah, it is probably the most graphically advanced game I've ever played. Most likely. Look, I'm hitting them with the 2299. What can I say? Just don't play. Just don't play. Just get hit with the 2299. Easy peasy. I used the cheat code. The six, not the six, uh, the three digits on the back of my credit card. I'm gonna say six. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh... I forget who shared the meme. I don't know if it was you, Borders, or someone else in the Discord server. I <laughs> shared, like, the one meme of, like, cheat codes back in the day were, like, actual, uh, you know, codes to come up with and input into the game. But, uh, cheat codes nowadays is literally just your credit card information. It's like, how things have changed in the, in the gaming industry, huh? Okay, I'll try, but, like, no guarantees. I'll try. Let's see here. Looks like I don't have other art set. I probably didn't get the thing, did I? Yeah, I don't have other art set on the... I literally could because I, uh, whoops. But yeah, um, whoopsie doopsie. Let's see here. So if I play law, I need to actually set more arts. I went to the other window and there was none there and I was like, oh, whoops. Oh dang, I missed my opportunity there. Um, stop! Stop hitting me! Ah! Well... Ow. So rude. So rude. Well... Booby bop, I'm gonna smack a root. I'm gonna smack a root them all. I'm not gonna throw my hat into this rig. I'm a pass on opening up that can of worms. <laughs> is what I... Is what I think I shall do. Smack a root. The biggest of smack a root. Oh, a whole bunch of Orochi's Fury. Maybe I'll even do the occasional 
big smackaroo like that into this cool time to die time to die okay well i don't know how long this is gonna go on for but i know the last kind of one of these went on this level 38 why are these ones so much weaker what the hell try a thing i'll try a thing no no switch set just have like a whole bunch of uh what are my current things thing blast talon storm flash of um so let's just do a whole bunch of freaking stuff just random basic things i guess Sure, and let's see here. Um, no, I don't buy people sharing their opinions about that. I'm just saying I'm not going to throw my opinion into the ring as well. That I'm going to pass on that. Into... Can I? Oh! Woo! 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 He comes out with the freaking phoenix there. Whoa, I like it. Okay. Well then. Yeah, the over monetization of the game is uh super grody and stuff. Well, time to die. Time to die, silly butter. How do I teleport into the air? When did that happen? Oop. Into. Looks like the Orleans an over limit. Cool. It was epic, wasn't it? Yeah, base game in this seems really nice, but the fact that you can pay for boosters and, you know, you don't really get to see, you know, uh, roughly how long it takes for me to be grinding off camera stuff. Like, it's not too long, I guess, but it's still rather irksome and it, you don't get as much experience as I feel like you should. And this is with a booster that makes it, like, 40% better, I believe, with the Ultimate Edition stuff. So, you know, the fact that there's that, plus you can also double it for like another 699, I find uh, a little bit silly. <laughs> I find it very, very silly. My goodness. Ow, 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 ow! They just took off all of my, all of my protection from, from death. Just stuck at 1 HP for a... A long time there. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to see the AI do the thing eventually. How long is this battle gonna be? This is actually lasting 3,000 years. If you want to just like not last 3,000 years, that'd be really cool. I might have to use a uh, an orange. Is what I might actually have to do. This won't get the other guy too, will it? Oh, it will. Sweet. Time to get smackerooed like that. Yeah, I wish this didn't last too long. We had one that lasted super long earlier in this dungeon as well. And it didn't even really give me a whole lot of experience. If this doesn't get me to level 57, I'm going to be so mad. Because this is so many enemies, you know. So if this doesn't get me to level 57, we were like 65 to 70% of the way through level 46. So, uh... If we could please. Is this the last dude? Oh, maybe? Maybe, maybe? Perhaps? Time to die! Yeah, I had like 1 HP left. But... Yeah, that was the last. Please. <laughs> Look, it barely did anything. I guess the doggy camp kind of blocked it, but like, it barely went anywhere with the experience. Wait, did I just go back to where I was before? I should have gone through the door from there. I think I did, didn't I? Yeah, whoops. <laughs> um, about that. A lot of our CP is missing now, though. Um, <laughs> I saw a button and I just had to press it. That was the thing. At least we don't have to do the uh, fight anymore. <laughs> is at least the case, but I mean... You know. Alright, what's through here? What's through this way? Cutscene, maybe? Okay, well, no cutscene or anything. Gotta get over there? Gotta make it past these uh, red-looking asylum demons first. Is that just straight up a dragon over Oh my goodness, it is. Okay, what's in here? My curiosity is peaked. What is in here, huh? What have we here? Probably a thing at the end of that. 
please don't notice me. Please don't notice me. Helagon, Quinn, or whatever the heck their names were. Senpais, no! Stay away. I'm doing the thing. But yeah, say the story is insane. You gotta kill a planet's soul. Yeah. I mean, that's basically like the plot here, essentially. Stamina ring, a ring that may have the ancient cost of an art when cast. Wow, you've got to be lucky to find this stuff. Is it really that good? Cause I, let's see here. Half AG cost 50%. I already have like things that I can Indeed. forge that have that plus a whole bunch of like other fine. stuff. So that's like a, basically a useless find. I have things that are better than that already. My goodness. Yeah, it's just straight drag. I mean, the planet isn't even a whole planet either. It's a dead planet. Well, it's a it's a reverse donut planet. <laughs> what it is. It's like a weird shape. I'm not going to fight the dragon. It's pretty cool looking though, I'm going to be honest. The uh, red kind of design of the enemies over here. I do think it is rather cool, but... It's so weird how this is as far as you can turn the camera while on the vines. Like, this is the limits for the direction each way while on the vines, unfortunately. Because I didn't want to take the route where it's like you zoom in the camera closer instead of clipping into the wall by turning like other games would typically do. So I do have to get in here and get around that way. Yeah, if I can avoid battles, that'd be great. My CP is kind of low, so I mean... Oh, there's that. Hmm, but I'm gonna make it even lower to go through here. I'm gonna avoid those gems. <laughs> Whatever. I'll pass that up. Well, goodbye to my CP. There it goes. Basically. I thought that was an enemy. Like, one of those Mantis dudes waver. Is this just a room of gems? Alright, well... I'll turn off my camera so you can see all of what I get. Oop. It's just a room of stuff here. And this stuff eventually regenerates, so that means that you can come back to this room and... This is probably a place that you farm this kind of thing. I am saving CP. Don't you see my three right there? I have so much right now. Okay, was that all the things? I guess so. He decided to lay beside me instead. Just a dookie cam. In that a case. Whoa. Something like that-ish. Maybe. Look, I've got th three CP. Three CP versus the world. Is three even enough to use any art? No, 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 no. I don't need a save CP when I just don't fight anything. Oh, there's a thing there. I don't care. I'm gonna forget about it later. Up a real fight. Wait. That just goes to show how important this place is. Wait. Or perhaps they simply thrived freely. I can under such harsh conditions. Probably just deal. run up like this and run right, and then they'll stop existing. Right? Right? This is a thing I can do. I know it has some kind of camouflage. Are they gonna not exist anymore? <laughs> They're just gone. I don't know what the point of enemies guarding loot is when you can just do that. I don't know if I had any of those materials yet. I'm gonna assume I didn't be like, whoa, that's really cool. I don't have any of that yet, probably, or something. I guess. <laughs> well, he's quite relaxed. Alrighty, what have we here? The astral energy here is so dense. It's like trying to walk through water. I know the Great Spirit's will is in the center of Rena, but with the world in this state, the entire planet has become its body, right? So doesn't that mean we're already inside it? I would say that is horrifyingly correct. After all, the further we climb, the denser the astral energy becomes. <sighs> What's the matter, Rinwell? Are you not feeling all right? No, it's nothing like that. It just feels like the energy here is a little more intense than it was before. You mean Rena's energy? Yeah. It's like when I made contact with Dana's will in the wedge. It's almost as though I can understand what Rena's will is thinking. But Rena's will is supposed to be a lot stronger. Aren't we risking the Great Spirit controlling us if we interact with it directly? I don't think we have to worry about that. Rena's will is only supposed to control true Renans, like the Helganquil. If we can discern what the Great Spirit is thinking too, we might learn something, a weakness. But just to be safe, let me contact it alone. Are you insane? Rinwell, you're gonna... <gasps> Rinwell!
There was only meant to be one world. And your goal is to make them one. Is this fear? Rinwell, Rinwell, are you okay? No, I'm, I'm fine. I think. What were you thinking? You could have gotten yourself killed. He's right. You had us all terrified, Rinwell. I'm sorry. I really, really am. But, but I know now. I know how the Great Spirit thinks. I know what it wants. How it feels. Brenna's Great Spirit. ...wants to complete the world! What's that supposed to mean? Are you saying it's trying to make something? Yes, exactly! Originally, Dana and Rena were meant to be one world. But that never happened. They've stayed separated, and the Great Spirit wants to finish the process. What do you mean, one world? How is that even possible? I don't know, but its will is clear. That's what the Great Spirit is trying to accomplish. The only problem is that since Rena's energy isn't evenly spread like Dana's, it seems like it'll vanish before that happens naturally. So it's trying to absorb Dana while it still can, so that it can force the two planets to unite. Is that what you're saying? <sighs> the Great Spirit is scared. But it's not scared the way a rational person would be. It's more raw and undiluted, like just pure fear. Like an animal. Acting out of instinct. Although, admittedly, an animal would be easier to communicate with. At the very least, I have my doubts that it recognizes us as sentient beings with a reason for coming here. Earth, water, fire, and wind energy exist in both worlds, but only darkness and light can be found within Rena and Dana, respectively. The Renis Alma, as far as we know, the only host capable of harvesting the astral energy, is composed of all six. Knowing all that, Rinwell's findings do sound plausible. That sounds a lot like Xion's thorns, doesn't it? The whole reason the Great Spirit is trying to unite Dana and Rena into one world is in order to save itself. And if her thorns are part of the Great Spirit, then they must also... ...be trying to save themselves? Alfin, what is it? We thought the only way to free your thorns was for you to die. Yet despite that, they seem to be doing everything in their power to stop that from happening to you. Something wasn't adding up. But then I just realized something. If the Great Spirit doesn't want to die, then neither would your thorns. Those same emotions, that fear, that determination, and its energy must have been the same thing that was keeping you alive. You were its vessel. In that case, is that why her thorns caused so much pain to anyone who touched her? Because they were trying to protect themselves? If that's all true, then... Well, it's more than a little ironic. The Great Spirit merely expresses its desires. I imagine it was the Helganquil who were likely tasked with putting together and implementing an actual plan. Xion... I'm okay. We need to hurry and clean this mess up before it gets out of hand. Still, even if the current state of the world is wrong like you said, does that really make everything okay? If the world had been whole from the start, as it should have been. There'd be no Dana and no Rena, no masters or slaves, no lords, no crown contest. Maybe just peace. <laughs>